Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. We're just going to do a love reading for you guys, okay? Let's see what is going on with you guys in love. Okay, Spirit, this is going to be for Capricorn in love. What is going on for Capricorn in love, please? Give me clear messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Let's see. For Capricorn, Spirit, messages for Capricorn, please. All right, we have the one. This partner may be the one for you. I mean, the one you have been looking for, so give it a fair chance. Then we have knowledge. You have more to learn about yourself and others before you commit. Okay, so you guys could have been taking a break from whoever this is. Then we have flirtation. Someone is flirting with you now, so take notice and flirt back if you like them. Okay, what else? Two more, please. All right, we have open heart. Be receptive to partners who don't Im immediately match your usual type. Okay, and then we have twin flame. Your partner is your twin flame who is here to help you grow spiritually. Okay, so a lot of you guys are dealing with a twin. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have friends. You have a great friendship that could grow into more if you work on it. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you in love, Cappies. I hope you guys are doing well. Please take what resonates and leave what does not fit. All right, and also remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about the person that is in your energy, the person that you are connecting to. So let's see for Capricorn and love spirit. What is going on for Capricorn in regards to their love life? Please give me clear messages for Capricorn. Let's see. Okay. Could be dealing with the Cancer. <laughs> okay and one more oh shit we got too damn many up here to clarify but so we have the knight of swords the nine of cups and the four of wands yeah somebody is rushing in to talk to you they want stability with you they want long-term success with you capricorn this is serious <laughs> Yeah, with the Ten of Cups, somebody sees you as, as their emotional fulfillment, their happiness. They want to start this new cycle with you here. Yeah, somebody is definitely coming towards you quickly to talk. I see communication. I see an honest um, conversation that needs to be had here. Because maybe someone has found out that you are their twin. So they've awakened to that fact. And they realize that you're the missing cup here. Yeah, this person is on their way. They're very determined to come get you. Maybe after a period of healing, maybe someone had to work on their stability, their finances. But I do see that somebody wants to connect with you because they see you as very stable. They see you as very loyal, very kind. Okay, because this King of Pentacles is you, but you could also be dealing with someone that's in this energy or it could be flipped, whatever. But yeah, this person sees that you are the one for them. So they are on their way to talk to you. Could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. That's maybe resting or taking a break from you here. To think and contemplate things. Okay, let's see. What is this chariot for Capricorn? The Hermit in reverse. I wonder was that card in reverse the whole time? Because it was definitely in reverse on my last reading. So I don't know. But I'm going to leave it in reverse. So the Hermit in reverse talks about um, loneliness, paranoia this person has been withdrawn for a long time it could possibly be and so they're now you know now they're ready to come towards you because they have done enough soul searching they've probably been just really like paranoid very scared to come towards you but i feel like they're trying to push through that they're finding their strength back they're 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 determined to definitely come get you because i feel like they've done <clears throat> they've been in solitude for a while they've, they've done enough work on themselves to actually know you know to figure out what to do with you <laughs> and what they want to do with you maybe this person was lost they've been withdrawn for for a long time hmm. somebody here could have been avoiding self-reflection for a while too with the hermit in reverse and now they're determined to fix it what else will the chariot with the hermit in reverse 
yeah the justice card came out like sideways so you could be dealing with the libra these major arcanas here we got virgo libra and cancer so yeah they want to bring you some type of truth and clarity i feel like they're scared though they are scared but they're determined to fight through whatever this is because they want to bring you this clarity they want to balance something out with you yeah for some of you somebody here got locked up i'm hearing duis hmm i don't know why i heard that or it could have been something else that they got locked up from i mean for some people had to go to um some people here that i'm connecting to had to go to rehab um aa meetings and shit like that for maybe alcohol or something but anyways let's move on there is some truth and clarity coming though somebody here wants to be honest about something or you know just balance the situation out and take back their power so that way they can um or not take back their power but um what i'm trying to say take back control over the situation <laughs> they could have had to take back their power from something or someone else but let's see what is this four swords for capricorn yeah the knight of cups here they come after a time of reflecting and doing some inner work healing this person is coming in with a love offer they want to romance you they want to wine and dine you here they want to bring you some clarity they want to clear things up i feel like this person wants to take you out on a date so there is someone coming in it could be a cancer pisces or scorpio that wants to talk to you yeah what else for the four swords <laughs> damn the ace of swords came out sideways so yeah there's this, it's like somebody's been telling you half truths here they haven't been telling you the whole truth about a situation or something but i see some like i don't know just make sure when this person comes in they're telling you the truth because with the hermit in reverse too it does give me you know they want to be honest but they're scared to be all the way honest so they might just be giving you half shit you know so let, let's see what is this ace of swords here for capricorn yeah the two of cups in reverse somebody here maybe wants to tell you about a breakup or this could be you and your person here that uh, are just in dis disharmony right now. They want to bring something. They want to make something better between you two. They want to, um, yeah, fix a relationship. But I feel like they want to tell you the truth. Maybe they were in something else and they broke up with someone else. They could have been telling you half truths about their ex or something like that. But they want to be clear about something. They do. It's just, I don't know, you have to use your intuition to figure this person out because i don't know they could be halfway lying halfway telling the truth you know what i'm saying it's like half truths and shit like I, I you know i feel like they have good intentions but they're scared they don't want to be um rejected by you so they're trying to really devise a plan and hear on how to come back but they need to be telling the truth because i feel like you know if this is your twin flame you know them yeah like you could you could you you know them already so it's like come in with the truth or stay the fuck away that's just period okay what is this uh king of pentacles for capricorn ace of wands in the hierophant yeah somebody is very passionate about you this is a very passionate connection but some but there's a new beginning coming yeah with the ace of pentacles the three of cups here yeah and the hierophant with the ace of wands this person here wants to marry you they find you to be very attractive they find you to be a leader somebody here's a, a leader some of you guys could work for the government i'm hearing or like just big institutions or something like that somebody here i feel like could be getting advice from maybe a spiritual advisor of some sort um but i feel like somebody wants a long-term commitment Somebody wants something traditional with you. I feel like if you had sex with this person, the sex is fire. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they want a passionate new beginning with you. Um, Capricorn, they really do. So I see one coming. I see the opportunity for one. The devil. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you. They, they want to be with you here. They ain't playing. <laughs> they see who you are to them now. So yeah, I don't know. There could be a court situation going on, like I said, for some of you. For some of you, this person was committed to someone else for, for a minute. 
but I feel like this is them now. You know, if they if they have broken up with someone, they want to give you um, this commitment because they see who you are to them now. Somebody here is very wise, very smart, very spiritual as well. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Yeah, somebody likes traditional things. They like the whole marriage, the settling down, the, you know, somebody doesn't like to run around and shit. They like to just fuck with one person. So what is this Ten of Cups for Capricorn? Okay, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So so there was a family situation here. I feel like for some of you, that's what I was feeling anyway, that somebody was committed to. And it was just was not working. Something here left someone in debt. Somebody could be somebody could be having to pay back child support for something as well. I said for something, obviously for the kids, duh. But you guys know what I'm saying. So there was a, a family dynamic here that somebody could have possibly been working on that was like beating a dead horse. Okay, somebody somebody here could have um, been overworking themselves. They could have been really really focused on work and their material gain, and not really seeing that they have a whole family that they need to, um, you know put time and effort in as well could have been he had a five of cups somebody here regrets something somebody here is in regret and remorse could be regretting and remorse about not dedicating themselves to a family situation or not dedicating themselves to this twin flame dynamic yeah somebody was definitely um somebody could have been in debt too real bad could have been for a very long time Eight years for some of you. Ooh. Five months for some. Ten months for some. Hmm. Or somebody was working like a dead end job. Somebody was there could have been a family business or something that somebody was um or something like that. I don't know. Or just like a regular somebody was working a regular nine to five or, you know, a career, whatever, that was just not paying them enough, or somebody was living paycheck to paycheck, maybe having to take care of family or maybe having to take care of um I don't know. Maybe if they if, like if somebody here had like an ex or somebody that they had kids with and they were trying to maybe work on that relationship, it just wasn't working. And somebody now regrets something. Somebody's in remorse and they're very sad about trying to work on something that was just not working out and i feel like now they see you as their ten of cups i feel like somebody thinks too that um you're not going to put the work in <laughs> for this now because you know of the fact that they did that to you they didn't put the work in or they they acted like they didn't care you know but Hmm. yes i feel like somebody felt like they weren't good enough for you here the eight of pentacles could also mean like a lack of confidence in something lack of commitment somebody here has commitment issues what is this knight of swords nine of cups and the four of wands you're the fool so this person is coming to take a leap of faith towards you, Capricorn. Yeah, this is destiny. This is a faded connection here, most definitely. There is a lot of changes being made to someone. Someone could be going through like a, a period of healing. Somebody's sad about something. About their non-committal ways. But this person could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio as well. But they, they definitely want to work on this connection. They're coming to take this leap of faith towards you. They're trying to heal and balance themselves back out. Something here had to happen in divine timing. This is a um, faded connection. This is a faded event that's about to happen for you and this person. Yeah, they want to balance something out. They're having hope and faith that this situation could be fixed. <laughs> yeah, so here they come. They're coming pretty aggressively too because they, they're they serious. <laughs> they're serious. They know that you and, and um, them are probably not seeing eye to eye right now. So yeah, this Knight of Cups is them coming to coming to flirt with you, Capricorn. They they want you back. They want you back. Okay, let's see what else can we get for Capricorn Spirit.
They want this new beginning with you. They feel like they're just like, fuck it, let me take a risk. I don't know. This connection might be really strong, obviously, if it's a twin flame. So <clears throat> they're scared. So let's see. For Capricorn spirit, what else do we have for Capricorn? Major spiritual lessons. My friend's going to judge me and no one can have you but me. <laughs> yeah, that's what that Nine of Cups is. They're very they're very serious about you. They're, they don't want nobody else to have you. They don't. They're very protective of you. They're very greedy when it comes down to you. It says, I hold on to you because you're my blessing. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I can't even shuffle right. It says, I know I don't deserve you. Are you still upset with me? <laughs> what else for Capricorn? text any race yeah this person fell over the chariot with the hermit they're scared one day you're going to be my wife or husband <laughs> what else reading your old messages and wondering where i went wrong i wish it was you instead of them yeah that's that's what the issue was Yep, they're sad. I've been researching Twin Flame. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to trust me. Yep, obviously. Then we have sexual punishment. You've been acting up. Okay, well, you're the one that fucked around. So obviously, you know, you ain't getting none, nothing from me either. <laughs> you ain't got to put me on punishment because you ain't getting shit. <laughs> like, okay. It says I wasn't supposed to catch feelings. Yeah, they wanted to run around and do whatever. And they caught feelings for the damn twin. <laughs> it says, I'm not looking for your replacement. Yep, because you can't find it. And it says, falling in love again is scary. Then we have, hold my spot. <laughs> what? And it says, needing you to trust me. Okay, well, you're going to have to prove yourself, buddy. Because it looks like you're just, <laughs> you want some bullshit. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what we got, Capricorn. Let's see what else comes out of this deck for you guys. Hold my spot. What? It's audacity for me. Gotta get your shit together and hurry up. <laughs> you better come with the truth. What else for Capricorn? What else do we have? All right. Bottom of the deck, we have in sync. You just get each other. Perhaps you finish each finish each other's sentences or know what they are thinking. This connection feels effortless. Yeah, you you guys probably do have a good bond, but they fucked it up by lying about this. Oh, then we have not this lifetime. They are your true twin flame, but sadly, there's a possibility that you won't end up together in this lifetime due to circumstances out of your control. You know, yeah. Hmm. This is for some of you, not all of you. It's not going to fit for everybody. So use discernment on your situation. But sometimes some of these twins, they just don't wake up. They just don't. So yeah then we have perfectly imperfect the love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them okay then we have convenience you're staying in your relationship out of convenience because starting over seems like a dreadful task dreadful task so you hold off on leaving them yeah it's like they have a dis they have a, a a disconnection with you right now you and this person are are in disharmony but it's because they are you know child okay it says eros love eros is sexual passionate or romantic kind of love that can become an, an infatuation filled with lust and dangerous due to the loss of control oh let me look at this spread again <laughs> let me see something yeah that's why i'm that's what i was feeling like this person is just iffy still so if they come back in they're not awakened yet you're gonna have to give them time to heal that's what that hermit is in reverse yeah because they they could still be in a connection 
and it's just sexual here. Hmm. But they're realizing this shit doesn't work. They miss you. They're trying to bury their, their self in work because they miss you here. They do. But I, I don't know. This person here is just tripping. Then we have hidden blessings. You are being asked to go in a new direction. You will be amazingly surprised by the detour. It will be unknown territory for you. Then we have unplanned events. Meeting at an unexpected place or when, when both of you were not expecting to meet is normally how soulmates meet. Prepare for the unexpected. Some of you guys could be meeting someone new. You have a passionate new beginning. You're going to find out some type of clarity or whatever this is. And you're just probably going to go towards someone new. Especially if you realize your twin is not awakened yet. Then we have Chaser. Instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth, redirect that energy into other areas in your life. Trust, relax, be patient, and surrender. Yeah. Then we have Love Lost. The love is lost, but bound by the responsibilities, whether it's children, joint assets, or financial reasons. Hopefully an exit plan is put into effort. Yeah, this is his Eight of Pentacles. They really miss you, but they're overworking themselves for this family dynamic. They're stuck in it. I feel like they're stuck being the like the person that does everything in this family situation they're not happy at all it looks like it is happy but it's not then we have cheating hearts if you were cheated on it is likely negative emotions are running high if you must you must honestly ask yourself if it's worth saving or just to walk away then we have stuck in limbo you're stuck in limbo filled with doubt or confusion regarding your relationship with someone you believe is a twin flame break this cycle wow then we have breakup. This time, there's no going back. You're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning the healing process. Then it says compromise. N navigate, communicate, negotiate, and compromise to facilitate the sacred union. Your twin flame is ready to meet you halfway. Yeah, so for some of you, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. It's for half of you, you and this person, this person is not awakened, so you need to use your discernment to figure that out. I mean, it's not really hard to see if someone is awakened or not. Don't really go off of the fact that, oh, I love this person. This is who I want to be with. Get out of your ego and really see the truth for what it is, right? And then for others of you, your person is ready to commit. So you have to use your discernment with this reading, Capricorn, okay? Because <laughs> I'm getting two stories for some of you guys. Some of y'all, this person is rushing in. Some of you guys, someone's stuck in a family situation where they look happy and they're not, you know. So, yeah. So this was your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Capricorn.